is Microsoft actually looking to unify Xbox Game Pass and Xbox Live Gold in a surprise E3 2018 press conference announcement? Would that be a megaton, as the kids say, and help them win E3 in the eyes of consumers and gamers? Well, according to Segment Next, that idea might be realistic because of some job listings and i want to talk about that right now what's going on guys randall thor 19 the man with the million back again with another video now i know the topic of xbox live gold and how it should be free or that the multiplayer should be free is a topic that has been addressed uh quite heavily this past week both the red dragon and my buddy colt eastwood each did a video talking about how they would change things and why multiplayer should be free. And I 100% agree with both of them. Multiplayer should be free on both Xbox and PSN. But unfortunately, the realistic nature of the business that both Sony and Microsoft run, you know, deep in your hearts, that it will never be free. And maybe I'll talk a little bit about that towards the end of the video. But... Xbox Game Pass combining with Xbox Live Gold could be a step in the right direction and I'm kind of curious to see how it would happen and if it's even real. So let's take a look at what Segment Next is actually saying here. They're sourcing Generation on Xbox and I probably said that wrong, sorry. They're reporting that some new job openings at Microsoft hint towards a unification of Xbox Game Pass and Xbox Live Gold. Specifically, two of these offers request candidates to enhance the marketing area of Xbox Game Pass and secondly the Xbox Live Gold. Based on these openings, it is deduced that the Xbox Game Pass team that may absorb the candidate to indirectly help Xbox Live Gold and that the same source, I guess, that told Generation on Xbox about all this revealed to them that Microsoft has news to share with fans at this year's E3 2018 regarding Game Pass and Xbox Live Gold. So cross fingers and let's hope that this rumor actually gets confirmed. So, the idea of combining two subscription services into one is probably an appealing one for a lot of people. Xbox Game Pass, if you don't know, which I'm sure you do, is a subscription service where you pay $10 a month to get access to 150 plus games, including Microsoft's own first party titles. Uh, State of Decay 2 launched yesterday in the service. And Xbox Live Gold is a $60 a year a subscription where you can actually play multiplayer and access party chat and some of the other features. Now, I for one would love to see something get combined in the two here. They have two subscription services and maybe it would be best for Microsoft that they kind of roll them in together. But I know what people are probably thinking when they see this headline. They probably think, oh... I'm going to subscribe to Xbox Live Gold and I'll just get Game Pass. Because Xbox Live Gold is the cheaper of the two. It's $60 for a year, where Xbox Game Pass is basically $120. It's $10 a month. So they feel that if you subscribe to Gold, you'll just get Game Pass. Maybe to make that work, they drop games with Gold. You know, the 48 titles you get a year, the four games a month on Xbox One and Xbox 360. Maybe to make that money work, they just drop those and stop giving them to people. And then they just roll Game Pass into the Xbox Live Gold subscription. And I think people would probably be uh, happy with that. So they get this huge subscription service alongside the multiplayer. Obviously, and I think most people listening to this video, when they think logically through it, they know deep down that Microsoft and Sony will never make Xbox, will never make multiplayer free. The, both these companies make like a billion dollars a year on subscriptions basically for this. We talked about in the video where the PS4 was coming to an end, how they talked about recurring subscriptions and the money they get from PlayStation Plus is like a core pillar of their entire business. They have 34.2 million PSN plus subscribers. They aren't giving that money up. And neither is Microsoft. And I think you guys know this. You just want not to pay for it. And look. We kind of created this mess ourselves. We bought into Xbox Live. 
when it was with the OG and Microsoft was touting those subscription numbers back during the 360 era. And it just basically became, you know, the nail in the coffin for multiplayer being free on console when Sony copied it this gen and nobody really cared and nobody, you know, raised the stink. And now they have 34 million subscribers and Nintendo is charging for it, which is just icing on the cake. So I think a lot of people just need to get the idea that Xbox Live Gold or free multiplayer is going to happen on these consoles. It's not. They make a billion dollars a year. They're not going to give up that revenue stream at all unless they have another revenue stream that can take over for it. They'd have to charge more for the consoles. They'd have to probably take more of a cut from the games. But you don't really want to hear that. You just want to hear about the unification. Now, I think it could actually happen in a different way. Now, as said before, most people probably think Game Pass gets rolled into Xbox Live Gold, you pay $60, you get them both. Because nobody would be happy if Xbox Live Gold would be rolled into Game Pass. Because then it's more expensive, $120. And nobody would like that. So what exactly could happen? And I was thinking about this, and I talked about it with my friends, and I think this is maybe a situation that could happen. Microsoft is always about trying to give people options with how they play and where they play their games. And they're, they've talked about trying to add value to Xbox Game Pass. So what if the situation came up where if you subscribe to Game Pass, you also just automatically got Xbox Live Gold? Now think about that for a second. I'm not saying you can't subscribe to xbox live gold separately you still will be able to but if you just got game pass for ten dollars a month they just give you xbox live gold so they become linked now game pass isn't just about the 150 um games a month you get for ten dollars you also get gold so it, it raises the value of the subscription and look at the games they've been launching into game pass recently uh the third-party games like RoboCraft Inf Infinity and Laser League, which I hear is a really cool game. You have Sea of Thieves, you have State of Decay 2. You know, both of those are fairly multiplayer-centric, and you need Xbox Live Gold to access that. And there's some other multiplayer games within Game Pass that you can't really play unless you have Xbox Live Gold. So if they rolled gold into it as a thing where you just subscribe and you have, then I think... People would be happy with that. You know, your your ability to subscribe to Xbox Live Gold separately wouldn't be taken away. You can do that as well. But it would just help people who subscribe to Game Pass just to have it and be able to play some of the multiplayer titles and some of Microsoft's, uh, you know, first party uh, multiplayer offerings in there without having to worry about subscribing to something else. They just get it. That's kind of the thought I've been going here with, that this is how Microsoft might do it. Because I honestly can't see them shortchanging Xbox Live Gold, or Game Pass rather, where you get everything for $60 because they're not going to give up that revenue stream. But I can easily see them offering Xbox Live Gold into Game Pass as an added benefit while not removing the ability to subscribe separately to Xbox Live Gold. Microsoft is all about options. This would be another option for people to use. And it adds value to Xbox Game Pass, which is something that Microsoft has talked about doing. I mean, hell, even PlayStation has talked about adding value to PlayStation uh, Plus because they that is going to be a pillar for them going forward. So I think... That is something that realistically could happen. So, as far as it happening at this year's E3, I'm not really sold on that idea. I think it will happen eventually. Because I'm not even really sure Microsoft knows the full extent of what they have with Xbox Game Pass yet. It's really a... I'm not going to say a brand new idea in the digital age. Netflix has been doing it for a while. Same thing with Amazon. But this is a first for 
the video game industry. Nobody's done this before. You're basically in uncharted waters. You need to test out things, see what works, see what doesn't work. Maybe there's a type of game that really works, another type of game that just doesn't catch on. Maybe you need to make deals to get big third-party titles in there. Maybe you don't. You know, this is nobody's done this before. There's really not a playbook to follow. I mean, you can kind of follow Netflix's to a certain degree, but their model's more about the idea of providing content, great content, in a timely manner to keep people subscribed throughout the entire year. You know, video games and movies are, even though they're entertainment, they're quite different. So what will work for Game Pass? You know, Microsoft is learning as they're doing this, and somebody, maybe Sony down the road, or maybe Nintendo, will... Or hell, maybe even Ubisoft or EA, when they make their own version of Game Pass, will watch what Microsoft's doing and see what works and what doesn't work. So, like I said, just get it out of your minds about Xbox Live being free. About the multiplayer being free. Even though we all want it to be, even though it's on console gamers for it being a reality, and we can only blame ourselves for it being the way it is, you know, business-wise, Sony and Microsoft will never, ever let it be free. So get that out of your minds, and maybe think about different ways that Microsoft can potentially combine the two services, because Game Pass, you know, they've admitted how important it is to Xbox going forward, and Xbox Live Gold has always been important because of the consistent revenue stream it brings. So Microsoft, if they want to really push Xbox Game Pass subscriptions, offering Xbox Live Gold as a perk of Xbox Game Pass possibly could be a benefit and uh, something that would make uh, people really happy. I would be interested in seeing it come to fruition. What about you guys? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you, you know, are you down with the idea of Microsoft unifying Xbox Game Pass and Xbox Live Gold. Do you agree with me about the fact that multiplayer will never be free, unfortunately? Let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you're always notified when I drop new videos. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Later, guys.